back on the same farm I was shooting in my last video. For two reasons really. One because we still have a lot of magpies and pigeons coming into this building. And two, my last video on YouTube told me off for being a naughty boy. So in this one, I'm going to be a good 6 PPC and not misbehave. I'm using my FX King. Again, this is a 2-2 FAC. And I'm using today 25 grain HN. And I'm sending them just under a thousand feet per second. And I'm zeroed at 50 yards. And uh, all my shots today should be from 40 to probably 65 yards. So I should be able to aim virtually spot on. I might have to hold slightly left because of the wind. But anyway, let's get to it. And yeah, I can legally shoot magpies and wood pigeons here as well. Because we have a lot of ground nesting birds on this ground. And uh, these birds are coming into this building making a mess. They're defecating all over the cow's feet troughs. So yeah, I can legally shoot them. So let's get to it. First magpie here. Let's press record. Yeah, I look to be messing about here. But in my last video, I actually missed a magpie in the same spot. So I'm just making sure here now I don't miss again. He went down nice. Probably 50 yard that, but uh, yeah, that was perfect. Straight down, as they say. Yeah, brilliant. Looks like my mate Donald's turned up. Don't worry, I won't be shooting Donald. I am enjoying using this FX King these days. You know, I've had it now probably uh, four months, and uh, as yet, it's done nothing wrong. You know, it shoots slugs, it shoots pellets, it shoots high power, low power. Yeah, it is. It's a good rifle, this. It is. Another magpie. Yep, he went down as well. These slugs do work well, they do. So yeah, there's one there. And one there. And there's my mate Donald. But don't worry, he's safe. A pigeon. Well, just lights out. That's how it should be in it, you know. This tree here is 90 yards away, and this magpie was in range. But the wind had got up, and uh, I was inside this old milk float, and plus the building was in front of me. So I couldn't read the wind, you know. I'd have had to know exactly what the wind is doing to make this kind of shot with a slug. But next time I come, this tree could be interesting. This is only the second time I've shot this building. And uh, there's still quite a few about, you know, but they will wise up soon. I 
just forks in the score better. And the simian flew off. There's a magpie here just landed on the bar. Nice and safe, the silos are behind. One. Even down, absolutely perfect. That slug then expanded exactly what it's supposed to do. Yeah, nice one. About 50 yards. Last time I came here, I brought my camera. And today, my camera SIM card's full. So I'm now filming through my phone. And uh, we have a magpie just landed. I can't just shoot where he is now. He's not just safe. He again went down 100%. You know, these slugs are working perfect, they are. Yeah, brilliant. It's good to go. I don't know if you've seen that with the weather now. It's shocking. Beautiful king. You can see not, oh, he's wet through. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going anywhere for now. This weather's shocking. It's been sunny, it's been hailstorming, and now it's raining. But not to worry, it's Easter. My hands are freezing. This pheasant here, you will have heard earlier on in the video, and I call him Bert. And he's been on this farm quite a while now. You know, the farmer doesn't mind seeing him. I don't mind seeing him. When I fill up my squirrel feeders some days, I feed him and he follows me. So yeah, he's quite a nice lifestyle now as Bert. So yeah, it turned out quite a good day really. But here I'm just putting in some of the clips of the magpies I could have shot if they'd been safe. Or oh, using a 12 foot pound air rifle. Like these here, and the one you've just seen, there's loads of fertiliser bags behind them. And I didn't want to ricochet and uh, puncture the bags. So all these got left. There's one here, just above a diesel tank. Again with the fertiliser bags behind, so I left this one as well. And I got a lot like this where they were in the building, in range. But if I'd have missed, the slug would have gone through the lats in the building. So, again another ear gets left. I actually left quite a few. And this one here, we just sat in it. You know, this was probably 60 yards. And uh, I do believe I'd have hit it, but I left him. And these last two here, again, with the fertiliser bags behind. And I just zoom in here on the magpie to show you, you know, and it's a shame they are a smart bird, but they do cause so much damage. Anyway, I think that's it for now. And hopefully when I put this video on, I shouldn't get told off. Because, uh, I think I'm the last one. <laughs> so I've been a good six PPC, I think, in this one. I think it have. If they told me what I've done wrong, I wouldn't do it again. But they don't tell you what you've done wrong. And that's what gets me mad, really. So you've got to just assume what you've done wrong and guess what you've done wrong. I think I know what it were. I think I mentioned the film. And uh, you might not be able to mention a film or something, I don't know that. So they just don't tell you. 
but this will probably get demonetized now because I've mentioned the film. <laughs> anyway, I've gone in case I've taken me all too deep. <laughs> It's a good job, FX build the rifles tough because I sure am putting mine through its paces. I'm still here because another magpie's landed. <laughs> Just when I'm gonna go home, another comes in. But uh, it's getting quite chilly now. I'm going to have this last shot. Yeah, this was the last shot of the day. But I forgot to turn on my tax cam here. So as you get here, is the sound that quite a few seem to like. Before I'm now, sucking up some baba. <laughs> 